Hi all, uh, today I'm going to show you how you're going to set up your portfolio for the first time. So I'm going to assume that uh, you've just got off the phone with my colleague or with Equity Strikers uh, and you actually have a portfolio set up. So I'm going to show you how you're going to insert your stocks and also uh, the cash that you have in your portfolio. So I'm going to log in here, put in your credentials. Uh, all you do, you need to do is click on the My Portfolio link on the top. Um, straight away when you start, you're going to notice that if you move your mouse over to Select Portfolio, you're going to have a practice account and that's really just a blank sheet of paper for you to um, experiment with the system. Uh, right now here, what I have shown here is actually two portfolios that have been set up. Um, you actually uh, will only have one if you only have one setup or you have three accounts you will have three accounts that will be here that you can track your portfolio from so I'm going to select one empty portfolio you're going to notice that everything will be zero on your dashboard on your status page uh, so there's no cash there's no market value there's no portfolio um, this portfolio is only one day old there's no return and there's no KGA and there's also no stocks at the bottom now so what I'm going to do now is how do you set it up from base value so I'm going to assume that you already have some stocks and you also have some cash in your portfolio now the whole idea of this portfolio tracker is supposed to help you track the return and hopefully you become smarter at managing your portfolio now so what I'm going to do here um, first thing I'm going to do is click on logs um, and I'm actually going to insert the stocks that I already have so that's the first step so I'm going to insert, insert two stocks here. So I'm going to click Insert Buy. I'm just going to take uh, yesterday's date. I'm going to put in a stock called Padini. Just type it in. Um, just say I have 1,000 shares. Let's say assume that the share price is $2.42. Uh, uh, $2 um, we always take the latest current price when you're setting up your portfolio. Uh, there is no brokerage because this is the first time we're setting it up. So it's zero, zero, and zero. So zero rise everything. Uh, that's the value of portfolio today. All you need to do is click submit, confirm, and it's inside, right? Uh, if I click on the status page here on the link, I will see that there is now a stock called Padini inside. So I want to add another stock. So another way you can add your buys and your sells is through this link here as well. All I need to do is click buy. I'm going to set the same date as when we started the 4th of May. I'm going to now put May Bank as an example. So I'm going to put May Bank here. I'm going to put in 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. Um, assuming that this is the price. Uh, just ignore all the prompts that come up first uh, because it, the system is meant to do that So if you click zero brokerage value, this should be zero as well um, There's no stamp duty zero everything is zero right for the first time if you're setting up So you click submit you make sure that's okay and you click confirm Now after you put in all your stocks in there uh, based on the current price you're gonna notice that um, That becomes your new average cost because that becomes your base uh, for how you're gonna invest now what you're going to notice is that your cash position now says that you're negative 9,800, right? So how we're going to square this off is that we're going to deposit 9,800 into this portfolio. So I'm going to click on logs here. Under this tab called cash deposits and withdrawals, I am now going to deposit that same amount 9,800. So I'm going to put add transaction um, same day on the 4th. I'm going to deposit now this is very important because this is an initial deposit because this is the first time you're setting it up so I'm going to put 9,800 here um, leave the rest empty click submit and click confirm so this is a very comprehensive system and there, there are a lot of functions but uh, at, at the start you don't need to use all the functions just yet yeah so if you click on status again you're going to realize that my cash position now is zero but my portfolio capital is now 9,008, right? And I have two stocks here, which is brilliant. Now, assuming, let's say I now have 5,000 ringgit in my cash account or in my trust account at the moment. So I'm gonna square this out as well. So I click on logs again, click on cash deposits and withdrawals, add transaction. 
and I'm going to use yesterday's date. I'm going to get it's going to be a deposit, initial deposit, and I'm going to put 5,000. Okay, so I'm, I'm just assuming you have 5,000 in cash and two stocks. Click submit and you click confirm. Right, um, and then you go to status again, and there you go, you have like 5,000 cash. 9,800 stocks, your portfolio is worth 14,800 today and these are your two stocks, right? And that's it, that's how you set up your first portfolio so you can repeat this process for any other portfolios that you have. Uh, in, in the next few videos, I'm actually gonna show you how to use some of the functions uh, um, when, when updating your portfolio. So whenever you, you make a buy or a sell in future, all you have to do is just update this portfolio with a buy, a sell, or even including a dividend. So this portfolio will actually automatically help you track the dividends that you have in your portfolio. That's it. Thank you.